Hey guys, what's going on? Timpus here, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how you can make your very own clean thumbnail for YouTube videos in just a few easy, simple steps. Now, you guys have been really enjoying these tutorials lately. You've been getting loads of likes on the videos, and you've been commenting down below that you want to see more. So, uh, or we can, I'm going to be doing loads more of these. So, stay tuned. And also, guys, the other day we hit 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Only about two or three days ago we hit and we're already almost at three uh, 2.3 K which is so amazing so as in return I'll be doing a little giveaway right now so um, what you and want you guys to do is comment down below a number between 1 and 50 and whoever gets the number will win uh, receive a free gaming uh, or just a YouTube revamp um, so make sure you comment down below a number between 1 and 50 uh, you can only comment once, so if you do comment more than twice, then you'll just be uh, disqualified. So make sure to co only comment once, guys. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, as I said before, we'll be making a thumbnail on Photoshop in just a few easy, simple steps. Now, in this video, I'll be using a GFX, my GFX pack. So I'll put the link in the description to make it easy for you guys. And yeah, let's get into the video. So you want to go up to new and we'll go to 1280 by 720. Uh, just like that and then we'll just go and open the pack um, before we get started it's got some really good stuff in there guys so make uh, sure you go download it and I'll also be making a new pack very soon maybe if you guys want I'll make it now for hitting 2,000 subscribers or I might make one when we get to 3k because I think we will get there pretty soon to be honest we've been growing loads so yeah but let's get into the video um, so what's, what you want to do is uh, go over to like a darkish uh, colour, like a dark black colour, something like that. And then you want to go over to a new layer and basically we're going to add some highlights and stuff. So something like that and then at the bottom we could go down and add an overlay. Something like that for now. And then once you've done that, in fact guys, um, Make sure you get another layer and basically you can choose uh, whatever colour you want as always and uh, what colour should we use? Uh, I think I'm going to go with a purple. So uh, yeah. And then we'll go change the overlay to... Change it to soft light. And then add one more layer and then go to white and we'll add little splashes of like overlay at the bottom. Like so, nice. Now once you've done that, we're going to go over to stocks and go down and get this one right here. Make sure you uh, hide the top layer as well. And then this is a really nice little stock right here. I really like this one. And then change the colour dodge and then you want to duplicate it. I really like this stock, it's probably one of my favourite ones. But uh, yeah, once you've done that, um, you want to go over to this one right here. And yeah, by the way guys, this is basically how I make my thumbnails uh, for my YouTube videos. It's really cool. So yeah, uh, once you've done that and you've added the um, thing, uh, change it to color dodge and it gives it a really, really nice cool like glowing effect over the top of everything. And if you want, you can like bring down the opacity for that a little bit. And then once you've done that guys, you want to go back over to the stocks and add this second one right here. Really nice, a bit like the one we've just added, but it's got a bit of a glow. Then you want to press Control U and change the uh, colour to whatever colour you want. Um, change it to the colour you're working with, and then we'll change the overlay type to um, colour dodge again, I and mean, then bring down the opacity a bit, say 30. So that's looking really nice so far. And, oh, once you've done that, guys, make sure you do, press Control J and then flip it over to the side, like so. Now once you've done that, you want to add another layer, then go to white and add some little overlays at the bottom, like so. And then we'll go add another layer and then go to purple and we'll just add a little brush at the bottom, like that. And it's, looks so good so far, really, it, you want to make it pop out. And that's what we're doing. Colour dodge and then bring down the opacity. 
So yeah, that looks really cool so far. And then once you've done that, you can group all of them layers because that's like the bottom layer. And then you want to go over to the uh, like the adjustments and stuff. If you don't have them, you can just go down to the bottom here, or you can go to Window and then Adjustments. So we're gonna add a brightness and contrast. Bring up the brightness to 20, and then bring up the contrast to about 25. Curves, you want to make a little S shape, like so. Just a little subtle effect. And then go to exposure, bring that up to 30, 40, something like that. And then go to photo filter and change that to purple. So that's basically the background done guys. Uh, really simple stuff there. And now we're going to add some text. So what you want to do is go to the T and I'll just put um, how to make a thumbnail. So how to make and then what I like to do is um, change it to white. Like a not not white, just a bit before, and you want to make it quite big. Nothing, you don't really want lots of writing. You want as few words as possible, but you want a word that stands out. So, how to make a? And I'll use Couture, if you can see. I got it at dafont.com, and then you want to go to um, the overlays over here. Go to gradient overlay, bring it down a little bit in a glow, and then change it to overlay and then drop shadow, bring down the distance and bring up the spread a bit and then size a bit more and then bring down the opacity to 40. So yeah, that's the first part and then you want to hold alt and click and drag it down so you can make a duplicate and then change that to like overlay, I oh, know, not overlay, thumbnail, Thumb. uh, thumbnail and then I like to make it a bit bigger, like so. So that's the text done then, you can group it, press Ctrl T and put it on a slant, make it bigger, and I think that gives it a cool effect. And then if you press Ctrl E on them, um, and then go to the rubber, and bring down the opacity about 50 to 60, and then I like to rub away like uh, the edges like so, it looks really really cool like it's uh, fading into the background like so, Just you don't want it too faded, just a little bit and then also what you can do um, is get pictures on there, so because it's for YouTube um, and I'm using Photoshop, you could either get a picture of the Photoshop logo or you could just get a picture of uh, the YouTube logo, so I'm just going to get a picture for of the YouTube logo. Um, so right here. And then just make it a bit smaller. Oops. Like so. Maybe bring it in front of the text and something. In fact, it probably look better just on its own actually. And what you can do after that is go to the uh, white brush and just add like a one more at the top. So yeah, that's about it for the video guys. Um, it's a really simple thumbnail, uh, but it looks really cool at the end and it's easy to do. So I hope you did enjoy guys. Can we smash, uh, can we smash, well we've been getting lots of likes on the last couple of videos so can we actually smash 50 likes on this video and also guys make sure you enter the giveaway comment the number between 1 and 50 and I will be picking um, a winner in the next video so stay tuned for that. But other than that guys I hope you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video.